Okay, so we are continuing with step 29. And with step 29, we need to fit in the electronics. So we're fitting in the receiver, uh, the, uh, sorry, that's the receiver, the ESC and the switch and attaching the motor wires. Um, Double-sided tape, it depends on which electronics and things you use. Uh, I found that with my hobby wing, the wires are a bit short and what with my different motor, um, the wires are also short, so I had to make some adaptions. So just quickly show you what I've achieved. Um, so you will see here that my sports tune motor uh, changed the wires from the original wires that were on there to um, these are uh, a 14 gauge uh, silicon wire um, again just sort of soldered these on so they're nicely soldered on um, rooted around go through the chassis and once we have rooted them through the chassis uh, come down into your box here in this box area here where they um, I've soldered them directly you can take it they do have the bullet connectors but because I had to rewire um, I've actually made a solder joint here. So you've got your solder joint and you can still see that's well and truly insulated now. Um, so yeah, that's all gonna go underneath the cover. Then you've got the um, battery wires here that uh, will go through to the underside of the battery tray and come out the other side. Uh, and your receiver wires uh, sort of tidied up as well. So they go inside and your switch yeah, I managed just about to put it on top of the servo, um, which is where the original position. So, so there you are. That's now in, and we are now moving on to the next step, which is step thirty. Okay, so we're continuing on. We are on now step thirty, and step thirty, we need some more parts from our parts trees. So we need namely this cover, which is L two. Uh, we also need L6 and L7. Uh, we also need some of these parts here, JJ4 and JJ5, which is this one here and this one here. And we also need our uh, aluminium tape for the aerial and a whole heap of screws. Um, so namely these guys here, which are the BA2s, which are three by eight millimeter machine screws. A countersink one, which is three by eight millimeter. So that's a BC1. A BE2, which is a three by six millimeter screw. And you can see that that's the correct screw because it's a lighter in shade, which is quite good at Tamiya. Uh, and then BE6s, we need four of those, which are these small ones here. And again, you can sort of see they level up onto the drawing. All right. So we need to then put all these together and make the covers that technically go over the top of all the electronics and the aerial tubes so that we can put the aerial tube in. All right. Okay, show how it's done. So breaking this down into a few steps, let's put the covers onto the L2 and uh, complete that step first. So we do the simple one first of all, top one. So we take our L7 and our L2 and we're literally popping these covers on here. And there is a little note here on the side that says that uh, some of the electronic speed controllers can release a high amount of heat. Uh, and if the box, which is what we're putting on top of here, if it retains too much heat, we can remove these again to allow more airflow and to allow more cooling. Uh, so we'll put them on and see how we get on. I'm not really got a too hot a motor here and the, the 1060 Hobby Wing is a very, very good electronic speed controller. So let's put them on together. So we're going to take our cover, we're going to pop that on top. And then we're going to take our smaller screwdriver. And these are the little BE6s and we're gonna screw these little BE6s over the top of the cover. So we're gonna pop them through there and collect those little holes. So quite simple. Um, I'll put these together and come back and show you. And here you go. So the last of the screws here, pop this in place. There we are. And you don't have to go too mad here, just so it doesn't wobble around. So there you go. So that's the L seven onto the L2. Um, again, much the same, we're gonna take the L6 now, pop that into place. Uh, but this time the screws, which are the BA2s, the three by eight millimeters, we've got, remember that we've got eight of those. We're gonna take those and screw these from underneath. So we're gonna collect the screw holes underneath here. 
um, just wait however you like to do it. So not a problem. Show you that again. So you're literally going to pop your pop your screw into place. Um, probably use a slightly bigger one, bigger screwdriver. There you go. Slightly bigger screws. Okay, so popping that in the hole and finding the hole in the in the cover. Okay, I'm going to do that and show you how that is done now. And come back to you once I've got that in place. And here we are. Look, just putting those finishing. There we go. So again, don't go too mad on here. You just Nip it up until it stops, and you just use it, little fingertips. The cover's just got to stop moving. There you go. So now that's the cover part. That's now done. And we now have to put this cover over the top of all these lovely, hide all these lovely wires that we've got. So it go like that. Okay, so we're going to use again the BA2s to screw through the various positions. So here, here, the back here, and the back here. So there's four screws. And all you've got to do is just make sure that your wires are not being caught or pushed away. And I'm just going to make sure, because quite thick wires, some of these. There we go. That do nicely. And make sure these wires here. Okay, there we are. So that puts that in place. So again, we use the BA2s to screw these in position. here and I'll screw these into place and come back and show you what it looks like and here we are look just popping those now tight so they're in place so they're not going nowhere there we go and that's the case on top hiding all the wires in the receiver everything really else like a nice box all nice and neat and tidy wow amazing Pretty amazing. Okay. It's uh, really, really nice. I like the way Tammy have done that. There we go. It's in place. And now we need to pop the JJ parts in. So JJ4, which is this one, and JJ5. And we use the different of the countersunk screws. So one of them is just going to be a blanking plate and one of them is going to be actually the tube holder. So the tube holder is going to be on this one here, the blanking plate on the other side. So you get your JJ4 part, pop the antenna bit through, and there's like a little uh, key here. Um, so you pop that through and you pop that so the key sits on this side. So there we go, and then from the underside, we take the BC one, which is the three by eight millimeter, which is the colored one, and from the underside, we're going to capture the screw. So if I can show you that on here, so from the underside, we're going to capture the screw here. And I've gone with the first hole because it's a shorter aerial tube. So remember this kit, you could have a longer aerial. So we pop that in there. Like so. And then we screw that down until it all holds. Put the hole down in place with one finger underneath. And screw it in place. Don't have to go too mad. There we are. Hopefully you guys can see that. No, that's that done. Okay. A little bit loose, it's a little bit tighter. There we go, that's better. Okay. So we then got to adjust this in the moment and put some glass tape over the top of that. Some aluminium tape to give us. But we're going to need to put our blanking plate one in for next again. So the key on this side. And then we take the little BE2 and screw again from underneath. This is slightly shorter. There you go. Nice and simple step. There we are. 
that's that bit done and so for the next phase here we're going to stick a piece of the aluminium tape across the aerial just to protect it and so I've worked this out that it's 25 I've done it a 10 mil 10 mil um, across and 25 mil long and that sits nicely there and you can push push the aerial into the little groove and then stick this down to hold it in place so I'm just going to show you how to do that now so we've cut our piece into place take our backing off like so he says my fat sausage fingers there we go get in there there we go and I'm just going to use I'm just going to use my modeling knife to help me position this into place so that's in place there so keep that in there all right that looks good Keep that in place, there we go. And that should keep it in place nicely. There we go. And protect. I'm just running my nail in there just to run it, make sure it's nicely kept in place. There we go. There we are. Is your aerial nicely protected? So that's step 30. Complete it.